Day six. Good morning, y'all. We ordered breakfast in today because we tired. Hello? Last night was a long night. I want to say happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. Merry Christmas. Mwah. We just ordered in some Cracker Barrel. We feel like eating there today. We are staying home. I also have to place an order for Instacart because I'll be making Sunday dinner tonight. Uh, smothered turkey, Cajun rice, cabbage, and cornbread, and some sweet tea. Mm -hmm. He begin. It has three pancakes in it. I put strawberries on top, but you can give them to Zara. Okay. We got some bacon and some cheese. I got the Colby Jack on your sheet on your eggs. Bacon and eggs. Zara got the confetti pancakes. Butter, come sit down. Butter. Butter. Come sit down. Oh, that's whipped cream. I got Zara the confetti pancakes and bacon. No, go sit in your chair. And then I got these cheesecake stuffed pancakes. They are so good. I thought they were only for a limited time, but I guess not, y'all. They're so tasty. And of course we got hash brown casserole because do go to Cracker Barrel and not get hash brown casserole? If you do, you need to stop doing that. Go and order this. I'm trying to tell you guys. We also been finding out some good news this morning. It's a little personal news, but it's good news. Yeah, so. We gotta look into a couple things, but y'all will see that if it is actually what it's supposed to be, which it is because it's on paper. Y'all will see that. Uh, and then I got us a sweet tea because I've been craving, craving sweet tea. Baby, you want butter? Yeah, y'all. Also, um, my daughter's little greenery wall came in for her. S-U-R-P-R-I-S-E. So let me just show you guys. I didn't open it yet, but it came this morning. I'm so upset because, oh babe, can you stack out the, um, let's, let's put together first before I show you guys, before more delivery drivers come. This delivery driver came around like 8.30. I was not down here to put out, if you guys watched in my last vlog, I made these little bags for our delivery drivers, like a little goodie bag to say just thank you. It has like snacks and stuff in it because a lot of delivery drivers don't get to take breaks while they're making these deliveries. So I just have like a little sign it says, delivery drivers, thank you for all you do. Please take a bag. And then I just filled these bags with some goodies, like a whole bunch of chips, some candy, some chocolate, water, Gatorade, all that stuff. So I'm about to just set this up outside real quick. And then I'll show y'all, cause I'll be damned if another one comes and I don't get to give them a gift bag. It is the season of giving y'all. Simple, so they can see the bags and just take one. You don't even have to be delivering to our house. Like if delivery drivers just see it and would like to get one, they can get one. So I'm gonna be doing that for the whole month of December. Big Coots wants to say hello. We're gonna do a whole lot of spelling y'all. So just cause my daughter's right in front of me. So for her C-A-F-E, I bought this wall to go behind all of her um, C-A-F-E stuff. <laughs> And this is well, part of the wall that's gonna be, oh, why am I blurry? And this is gonna be part of the wall. So I'm gonna be setting these up. I think there's like 12 pieces. I'm gonna be setting these up on the wall with her little LED light and stuff. Too cute. But I'm gonna eat y'all. Cause I'm hungry and me and my husband are trying to figure something out with this good news. All right, so our um, Instacart groceries are Prime delivery, whoever, somebody that just got delivered. And you guys, yesterday, so I told you guys that that video, um, my ornament video, actually did really, really well on TikTok. It's doing really well on YouTube Shorts too, but um, it has reached so many people that a news station wanted to interview me. It's a news station that's in the UK. They sell their stories to like Daily Mail. Um, Good Morning America, just a whole bunch of like big brands. And so it's cool because when they post it, they can sell it to other people and then I get profited off of that. So I was wondering yesterday, I was like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. So I just Googled it and it came up. So I'm gonna play it for you guys to see. I was talking to the, um, I was talking to people in the UK. They interviewed me and everything. It was just like, it was so crazy. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Like this video, I was just caught off guard by that. Y'all don't mind my little, I don't know what my hair is trying to do. I'm gonna uh, screen record 
and show you guys. Nia Wells, a 29-year-old stay-at-home mom, is teaching countless of TikTok users how to make your Christmas tree look next level without spending more than a few bucks. When I used to look around shops, I would wonder how the trees looked so good, Nia said. I realized it was because you couldn't see the hooks showing. According to SWNS, Nia replaces the strings on her baubles with wire hooks, averaging $2 a hook, and hooks them as deep into the tree as possible. When the avid Christmas lover saw she could make a fuller-looking tree just by hanging her bob, not only created a sturdier, better-looking tree, but found that this cost-effective method is blowing people's minds online for its simplicity alone. I like to show people things they might not know about, but I never thought I would go viral, Nia says. Well, Nia, you may have just found another calling. And that may be little to some of you, but for me, I'm just like, what? Like, I've been on TV before. <laughs> I've done, like, a commercial for um, for some university, for, uh, like, a nursing program. So I have been on TV before. However, I've never been interviewed by an actual large international news station, like, so I just thought that was really cool that that video even did that. I'm glad it's like helping a lot of people. Most people are very nice. A lot of people, you know, the trolls and people who I just like, why are you, why are you here? Those people, but anyway, I just thought that was really cool. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, let me go grab these groceries. I'm so sick of my hair. Uh, <laughs> you know, now I got the Marge Simpson going on, but hey. Holy crap. Wow, burr is cold in here. There must be some clovers in the atmosphere. I was thinking today for her playroom, I'm gonna be making, um, y'all know that I did that little haul at Michael's and that vlog, <laughs> that vlogmas vlog. I want to start making the um, like goodies, the artificial um, cookies and what else was I gonna do? The boba, like stuff like that. So I want to make those and I want Zara to help me, but I don't want her to feel like she can play with it after. So maybe she can help me and I can just hide it. I don't know, but I think it would be fun for her to help me. But yeah, I want to start making the little DIY like cookies and um, boba and things like that. So I want to experiment with it first and then I'll let Zara help me. She'll just really like it. She, she loves doing stuff like that. But I got our groceries. So nobody had turkey legs, apparently. I guess they say that season's done, y'all. I don't even think I told you guys, but my first um, big brand deal was with Prime. <laughs> so Amazon, yes, I did get to work with Amazon. I did three videos for them. I think they have one on their TikTok right now, so it was four TikTok. Uh, they reached out to me, and I was just like, what? So I have another brand deal right now with um, Instacart. So I'm gonna be filming that all week. This one is for a very long time. This one lasts until like the end of February. So that's pretty fun. Yeah, so right now they just have my little- No, it's a special occasion. Ingredients a whole lot easier. Go watch it. It's my lumpia recipe too. So it's on Amazon Fresh. Yeah. Go check it out. But yeah, that was my first Amazon deal. I don't think I, or my first big brand deal. I don't think I told you guys. Y'all, this is why I need to hurry up and order these chairs because look at this. My chair, not supposed to be able to do this. All right, my camera is charging, so I have to have y'all down here. But I got all of the clay and stuff out. So this is what I'm gonna use for the cookies and the cake pops. I got some black for chocolate chips. And then I got um, the paint. This was all, in, I think, Rockness Day 1 or 2. I got the paint here to paint the cake pops. I got the little balls for the cake pops. And then I got the cake pop sticks and then I'll do the boba after. So I got some inspo photos. Obviously we know what cake pops and cookies look like, but I want them to look as realistic as I can get them to look. <laughs> Just pulling up a couple pictures of like cookies and whatnot. So I'll be using these for inspo. And then I got the like little clay glitter or clay confetti and some glitter that I'm gonna put onto the cake pops. Let me test this out first. Okay, these are giving unbaked. 
I think my chocolate chips are a little thick, but I was just trying to figure it out, so. I think it's the color that's throwing me off. This one is very pale, so maybe I'll save this color for the cake pox, but hey, that's why I bought extra, trial and error. This color is not the color I want, so I'm gonna go for the darker brown. I'm sure she'll still like this, but I don't have brown paint right now. I can probably just paint it later, but I'm gonna put this over here for now. Okay, the dark brown. I'm just rolling it, and then I'm going to flatten it out. I was gonna use my roller, but then I was like, it look a little more realistic when it's like, hand flattened, I guess. Kind of make it look like a fresh baked, right off the oven, right off the baking sheet type of cookie. Something like that, right? So I think this is a good size rather than just having this super flat piece. Like this, I don't even know. <laughs> this looks a little bit more realistic already. I'll just add smaller chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna roll it instead of creating that little mountain I was trying to create, I'm gonna roll it like this and then just like press it down because once it's on there it's on there y'all like there's no there's no going back and then i can pinch it while it's on there and that makes it look a little more realistic see look that makes it look a little bit better just a little bit but the idea is it to just be a toy you know like a realistic toy that's all we want we don't want perfection just want like a realistic little cookie toy that we can do for her. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. These are just gonna be chocolate cookies. So that looks a little bit better. I feel like it would look better if it was like painted and had the little lines. Maybe I could just like add lines into it to make it look more like a, like a cookie. The lines don't last too well in it though. Like, the clay kind of just forms back to what it was, so. But I feel like if it had lines, it would look better, like a little more crinkly, you know? If I just like crinkle it and then flatten the edges again. Okay, that looks a little more realistic. That looks a little bit better if you like kind of crinkle them and add like nail marks. <laughs> in it a little bit. And the good thing about it is if you don't like the mark, you just flatten it and it goes back. But I think that looks a little bit more realistic, like a cookie, kind of. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with this. It looks way better than this. Like, what the hell? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this looks way better. Okay, so I found a good technique. That's good. The color may be a little off, but it's still good. She'll get the point of it. Can I turn this into a cake pop somehow? I don't wanna waste it. Maybe I can turn it into like a spotted cake pop. <laughs> if I like keep twisting it and stuff, it'll probably look really pretty. Like a marble, you know? You just keep twisting. Just keep twisting and twisting and twisting. See, it'll look like marble. I can make a marble cake pop for her. And then just put it into a ball. See, look, now it looks like a rock. Wow. <laughs> And then I could just flatten it. So my, let me show you real quick the idea for the paint, for the cake pop. Instead of using like a whole ball like this, right? And that takes away so much clay. I just bought the little balls, right? And I'm just gonna flatten them and lay them over, kind of like fondant. So let's see how this one comes out. This is just like a really pretty rock right now. Stretch it out as much as we can and make it into a cake pop. You see, and that way it's also a perfect circle. See, you gotta stress too much about that, but you see how like it just comes off? Way less clay to use. Look at that. And I already have one pretty cake pop ready for her. I'm, I can just paint this, but you know what I'm saying. Just to be able to still use the clay so that um, I'm not wasting it. And then I just grab a little stick and just stab it right in here. Make sure it's in there good. Don't let it go through the top though. And then I can just paint this and boom. Now she has a cake pop for her bakery. I'm gonna paint this cause this is really ugly. <laughs> but you get it, you guys. Look, cookie and cake pops. <laughs> I'm 
it's like 15 minutes later just doing a little quick check-in um this is how everything's coming out I need to keep them pretty separate because they do stick together so um i think it's all looking pretty good though i figured out the good method for it so i just basically took this like how i showed you guys rolled into a ball flattened it out and then i just squished it before i put in the chocolate chips and then i laid the chocolate chips in and they came out looking way more realistic so i really like these these you see they gradually got better as i kept going <laughs> but yeah i think this is the best one so far so i'm only making her five of those and five of the cake pops i want each cake pop to have its own design so that's the plan for that so i'm about to start <laughs> saw how I just kind of did that I kind of just stretched it let me do one more piece and it's this brand Creatology for the clay so I kind of just because it's very stretchy this clay is stretchy way more than the Crayola I kind of just stretched it and then just laid it on there like so like that and then yeah that created the little like cake pop drizzle chocolate for this one. So I thought that was a cute little touch. So I'm gonna ask my husband what he thinks. My okay, ball. <laughs> what do you think so cookies? far? This is the one design I did. Wow, it's chocolate drizzle. <laughs> wow. Do they look real? They do, they feel real too. It's so weird. You like it? Wow. You can see how I gradually got better at them. Go ahead. Which one, this one, the first one? Uh, either that one or this one was my first one. But as like the cookies like gradually got better. Mm -hmm. that create, that's why your head's so big. Oh. All these creative thoughts in here. All in here on the left side of your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. What is this called? A cake pop. Good job! <laughs> no, it's fake. It's not real. It's a toy. Can't play with it. Not yet. They have to dry and then you can play with them. Do you like it? Yeah, I want to make a real... I want to make something else, Mommy. You want to make some clay? Yeah! Alright. Here, you can play with this clay. Laura's making her own cake pop over there. I knew she was going to want to do this, so I'm going to make her... Let her make her own. So basically, I'm just going to take these so I can paint them. This one's ginormous. I'm just going to stick them in here. So I can paint them. I'm just going to start painting these. And we'll see what designs I pick and how they come out. I, guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. So I've just been painting away. Okay, there we go. So they definitely have to dry and then I can add on like the second layer of paint for that. I ended up making a kitty for her. This is what it looks like so far. And then once it dries, I can paint the whiskers and stuff and put on eyeballs. But I was like Zara, so we I just formed the clay and just attached it onto it. Like the ears, I mean triangles, a circle for the nose, and then little roll lines for the whiskers. This is it with the sprinkles on it, so fake sprinkles. Here's Zara's cake pot, by the way. This is Pluto. <laughs> I think it looked just like him. So Zara is having fun in her playroom without toys being in there. So just imagine Christmas morning, so not just the toys underneath the tree, but a whole playroom surprise. She is gonna lose her mind. And I told you guys we did a surprise for her before, but this one is like, okay, that one was pretty sick too. Yeah. But this one is like, I had to top that one, obviously. All right, since the paint is kind of like wishy-washy, I'm just gonna go over the parts of the cat. I'm just gonna go over the parts of the whiskers and the nose with some clay instead. Little yellow sprinkle for the nose. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then I just put little eyes. Look y'all. Oh, the eye kind of lopsided. Look at these. Let's make the boba. I'm about to make her little boba things. It's pretty, this is an easy project. Um, I have to sit over here and do it because I need to review my video before I get it uploaded to YouTube. Y'all would have already seen this, so it doesn't even matter. Um, so let me just sit and y'all can watch me do this. 
see this is why I wanted to put actual water in it and then just use food coloring and more realistic they would look better in food coloring liquid and then I can just glue them shut like so like that I might just do that y'all that might have to be the move so tomorrow I'll buy some food coloring I experimented a little bit so the black the slightly larger black uh, puffy balls float better than the little ones but this makes it look more like boba so now i just need to get some food coloring that's like a milk tea color a strawberry flavored color yeah i think it looks good so tomorrow i'll go get some food coloring and then i'll just glue them shut with some hot glue gun and she'll never be able to open it so that's perfect i wonder if there's like faux ice maybe if i get those too that'll make it look See even some, some at the, uh, at the open house we went to really oh look they do is there some in store that i can just buy like michael's because i have coupons for michael's yes it's at michael's period y'all look at these chocolate chip czars making i didn't even show her how to do it and she's making it herself hi y'all now look at my husband y'all another news i no, I, <laughs> I didn't drop the chicken he didn't drop the food, which is good. Yeah, the chicken is right here, cooked, looking great, ready to be cut into. Yes, <laughs> but maybe you that. um get thing overflowing, and you know there is a lid for that. I, I gotta <laughs> find it. All right, y'all, we gotta go back to the spelling bee real quick because Zara's sitting right here. So remember how I was telling you guys I was saving all of these for her G R O C E R Y store, right? I was saving all these, collecting them, because I saw that that's how they did it at the um, KIDS Center. So I got all my ideas on my inspo from that place that I always take her to. I even saved a couple of the mini bags so that I can put these all in her store. So I'm gonna be taping these right now. Mm -hmm. And it's so much cheaper to save these because just to buy like two of these is like $27. We got some garlic, rosemary, seasoned chicken, whole chicken. I even took out the guts and spread it, filet like, eh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like how? But, yeah. <laughs> and then we got some dirty rice. My wife's recipe, she told me how to do it, but I think I made it better. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> Honeycomb bread out the box, but I made, I did a little something. I used butter instead of uh, vegetable oil. And then uh, cabbage, seasoned cabbage. Yum, there's no sweet tea. No sweet tea. So this is going to be the end of Vlogmas Day 6. Yes. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in Vlogmas 7, possibly 8 with it. Yeah.